if we go to the managers menu and uh, open the employee table this uh, will be a table or a grid that shows uh, pretty much all of your employees and a uh, quick view of their info entered in the software whatever you're tracking on them uh, right now this table is empty because we don't have any employees at it uh, however to add some employees or update modify anything about them or delete employees we go on edit table now in here we enter some basic basic information about the uh, employees and uh, keep in mind that uh, even though it seems like too much has to be entered in here most of this is optional the only really uh, uh, important uh, things that must be filled out are an employee number and first and last name that's pretty much it everything else is optional it depends on what you want to track about the employees and what you don't uh, what you want to keep uh, track of now the employee number is totally up to you to make up uh, you can make up your own employee numbers now we'll enter the employee name and a few more information just to show you how this works Now, uh, the next two uh, check boxes are for the pay structure, how you pay this employee. You can do hourly, uh, you can do commission, or you can do both. So let's go ahead and do hourly and commission just so you see how uh, these options work. Um, the next one is deduction notes. Uh, it really has to do with the three uh, fields following right below it. It's uh, actually, a, this is actually a text field where you can uh, literally write in uh, whatever you want to explain what the deductions are that you're taking from the paycheck uh, from this employee uh, let's say you have I don't know deduction a set amount in here uh, for health care in here you set maybe an amount for uh, taxes and so on something else if it's needed uh, and regulated uh, in your local uh, government so um, you quickly write down in here uh, what the deductions are for so your employee knows uh, why you're taking out these uh, amounts out of their paycheck and in here you just put the pay rate how much you're paying the employee let's say we'll pay this employee $17 per hour um, the next uh, area in here is security settings uh, you basically make up a password for this employee that will be the password that they will be using to log into the software so let's say we'll just make up a password for him and uh, these check boxes in here having to do with what the employee is allowed to enter in the software what they're allowed what area they're allowed to enter what area they are allowed to access what they have access to and what they don't so everything you check in here is what you're giving them an access to and what you allow them to do in the software and everything that's not checked is what they're not allowed what the software is not gonna let them do if they log in with their own password with this password and of course every employee needs to have a different password and these are this is just a field for additional comments you can put additional comments in here for the uh, employee for anything you want to keep track of anything you want to comment on uh, so to add this uh, employee to the database we'll just click add Now, if you want to pull up the employee to edit something, to like update something, uh, all you need to do is type in the employee number, tab away by hitting the tab button, or simply clicking into the next field, and everything will be filled in automatically. So, you can go ahead and change some info. Let's say this is a more senior employee now, years later down the road, uh, you're going to add some uh, you're going to give them some raise, maybe more access to the software. Yeah. 
and then all you need to do is click update for the information to be updated in the database now we can go ahead and see how that looks like into the managers menu and uh, employee table as you can see now we have one entry in the employee table and quick view of uh, their data